Let's see if we can do this. Old school style. <clears throat> and we vlogging on the bed. The way we never used to do it ever before. Yo, what's up, guys? Your boy Goras and Jai Game and Komi and Queens and Pichang is spinning his trace and tech and Titan Lily and he back at it with another video. Okay, so it's been it's been a while ever since I've made a video, and I think mostly it's because I was not in the right space, the correct space. Um, everything was just all over the place. I know I have excuses every day when I have to vlog. And I'm like, yo, you know what? Um, I always have stories. Like, I think I was taking a uh, time off. I'd like to believe I was taking a time off. I was taking a break. Well, it was not a planned break, but yeah, it was somehow needed. And I missed being in front of the camera and I missed vlogging and I missed making videos. And I think the reason why I'm not creating as much is because I'm not in a creative space anymore. Like I, like I said in my previous video, I don't have a studio anymore my new studio is currently being built and it's me there right now because of some issues and all of that so up until we move into the new space then maybe i can start making videos the way i want to create videos and yeah but for now i'm just going to use what i have and this is what i have as you can see there's no fancy leds no fancy office setup no it's just me and yeah so the purpose of this video is my reasons why i finally quit tiktok and yeah hopefully maybe some other social medias as well are soon to follow um mainly because okay so i have a few reasons and um i didn't put these reasons in order or anything i'm just going to be speaking from the mind and hence i said i didn't write did i say it i didn't write anything i didn't script anything it's just I'm going to be speaking from the mind, from my mind, and yeah. So the reasons why I finally quit TikTok, I feel like TikTok is a very, very toxic space, very, 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 very toxic space. <laughs> TikTok is a very toxic space, guys. Like, okay, wait. I haven't been vlogging, guys, so I'm not being used. I'm not used to being in front of the camera anymore, so. You guys will forgive me. As soon as we get into the groove, we're going to get it moving again on Kushisha. First reason. Oh, see, see, this is why I didn't want to bring this thing here. But because me, Koyorosa, I want to drink coffee. And I wanna, look at my bed now. See, this is one of the reasons why. Okay, shut up. <laughs> so I have a few reasons why I quit TikTok and they're not in any particular order. I'm just going to be speaking from the mind. So first reason is okay we all know doom scrolling doom scrolling is when you're on your phone 247 you're scrolling 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 it's a rabbit hole it never ends you just keep scrolling scrolling scroll why do they say rabbit hole why do they say rabbit hole but it's it's when you keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and you never like you never quit and tiktok has this thing that it has introduced i think it was never there before where if you want to exit you have to press the exit button twice so if you press it once it resets it refreshes the page and you refreshing the page is you seeing a new video that you want to watch and you're going to keep scrolling and scrolling <laughs> up until you do it again so spending a lot of time on tiktok like i used to i used to spend a lot of time on tiktok guys like i used to wake up in the morning I'm on TikTok. Scroll, 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 scroll. Jiggy, jiggy. It's late. It's ten now. I'm still, I'm still in bed because I've been scrolling since seven. And you know, guys, with this unlimited data thing, you can keep scroll. You can scroll the whole day. So and waste your in, in waste your time, and you just keep on scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. <laughs> Yo, up until your eyes, maybe, because. Another thing is, I didn't only scroll in the morning. Uh, I didn't. I mean, I mean, I didn't only log in in the morning. It would be like a daily thing, where after I wake up, when I come back, it's TikTok. When I am about to sleep at night, it's TikTok. It's it it's been a cycle, up until I realized, oh no, this thing is hurting my eyes. My eyes are fatigued, and I'm clouded. Okay, I'm gonna move into the other reasons, but yeah, my eyes were hurting and all of that. 
So, another reason why I quit is because of um I feel like everyone on TikTok is like a coach somehow. Like everyone has something to say. Everyone has something to say. There's advice left, right, center, up, down, left, right. There's advice everywhere. Like you scroll, you scroll, you scroll, you scroll. There's advice. People are saying you must do this, you must do this, you must do that, and you must oh guys, it becomes your brain becomes clouded. Your brain becomes because you know your brain is like a sponge it absorbs things your brain becomes clouded with all this information and especially for me as a creative i it's not only um it's not only that i i i i what am i saying it's like you log in on the app people are saying you must do this Okay, so it's not, it's 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 a lot of things we guys know. It's about relationships, it's about life, it's about family, it's about this and this and this and that. And maybe it's information that you are not looking for. And I don't know if that's a good thing or it's a bad thing, but it's mostly not information that you are looking for. But I think sometimes it's a good thing because you learn to do you learn you learn other perspectives and other things and in life. But sometimes you also get information that I don't think you needed. Unnecessary information. There's a lot of unnecessary information. Like, um, for example, I feel like uh, there's a lot of, um, I don't want to say Andrew Tate's. And I also don't want to say there is a lot of, um, I don't want to say there's a lot of Andrew Tate's. I also don't want to say there is a lot of other things. But I'm just going to generalize the whole concept when it comes to relationships. So, relationship wise, you're gonna go log on TikTok and you're gonna meet someone who's talking about relationships, right? They're gonna be saying this about relationships, and then you're gonna scroll, and then you're gonna meet someone else. They're gonna be saying this about relationships, and then you're gonna keep scrolling, and you're gonna keep meeting all these people who are gonna be talking about a lot of these relationship things, and your brain is now clouded because you saw Coach Mang Mang said. If smang mang, if your boyfriend didn't reply to your text, it means that this is happening. If your um girlfriend didn't reply to your text, it means this is happening. If your um smang mang didn't do this, it means this is what is happening. And there's a lot of oh guys, there's a lot of misinformation and all these things are just clouding our brains and just clouding our brains. We keep on leaving this lie. I feel like it's a lie where now. If you don't act a certain way, it means something is wrong. And um, it's going to lead to the other point where uh, comparison. Like, I remember this other friend friend of mine, um, when I posted that, I finally quit TikTok. She said, comparison is a thief of joy. And that's true in so many aspects. Because now, you log in on TikTok, and you're going to meet, and you're going to see all these things, right? And you're going like, to start comparing yourself. I, th- I feel like it's... It's, um, it has shifted. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think it has shifted. I think Instagram has its own and TikTok has its own. And all these things are different in one way or another. But you see, you're going to start comparing yourself. You're going to start comparing yourself. Like it's, it's, it's the same on Instagram. You see Smang Mang has this a body looks like this and you're gonna want that body and you don't know what they did to 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 get to 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 where they are you're gonna see smang mang who's driving a fancy car and uh, and you see you, you don't know what they did to get that fancy car and you get so it's the same when it comes to instagram and tiktok but i feel like it's more amplified on tiktok because it's video and then you can see movement you can see people moving you can see you can see all these things and you can you can, you can log into their i mean you can click on their profile and you can you will see all these things and then you're gonna start comparing yourself and the thing is with um i feel like it's the same with instagram as well it's just that i haven't been on instagram for quite some while now like i used to and um i also haven't been on tiktok like i used to i i'm trying to limit my interaction with both these apps so i'm i'm i'm, I'm i'll be using my instagram to be checking because when i'm on instagram I'm usually watching car content i'm usually watching uh camera content 
and uh, things that I do, of which I feel like is also a problem because I am over consuming and not creating. So what that means is I'll be watching, I'll be, this is why I followed, uh, I unfollowed a lot of uh, creatives because I started comparing myself to them. I started seeing the type of lighting that they're using. And if my lighting doesn't look like theirs, then I, it means that something is wrong with my art. And I didn't really enjoy being in that state. So I unfollowed a lot of them because I didn't want to, I didn't want to compare myself to them. I just wanted my thoughts and my creativity to be free, to be to run wild. I don't know if I'm, I'm making sense. I know I fall victim to this advice sometimes. I, I also don't know if that's the right way of putting it. But yeah, um, I know that uh, sometimes it's because because you know I w- I will see stuff and I want to create such, such some things, but I feel like maybe it should come naturally. Well, I feel like inspiration should come naturally. I, as a creative on TikTok, I, I, will, I will be log, I'll be scrolling, and I'll see someone's video, and I'll be like, if my video doesn't look like theirs, it means then something is wrong. If there's no fancy LEDs at the back, then maybe my video is not go- doing okay. If they have a fancier microphone than I I have, it means that something is wrong, and. I will start wanting to create the the con- content that looks like theirs, and I will shy away from my own authentic self. I will want to create because um I remember I used to follow this popular uh, videographer photographer on on YouTube, and I used to watch every single one of his videos. Like there was no day that he uploaded that I didn't watch his videos, and I started being a mini him. I feel like I started being a mini him somehow because now I wanted to create the f- I wanted to create videos that he creates now. Uh, so this thing is everywhere. It's everywhere. So it's not only maybe TikTok. Maybe it's everywhere. Uh, so you just have to limit. Uh, you just have to limit. But like I said, I feel like it's it's it's, it's too amplified when it comes to TikTok. But um, not in a creative sense for me, but in other aspects of life uh family things relationship things friendship things and other things that are uh are lurking around there oh, well everyone is a coach everyone is gonna tell you this and this and this and that and there's a lot of you like like i said you'll start comparing yourself which is not a good thing like you're just gonna have to be yourself be creative in your own space Be creative in your own way and come up with content that you like to create. So, all in all, um, comparison, like doom scrolling, um, um, the comparison, all those things are some of the reasons why I um, I was like, you know what, I'm going to finally quit this app because it clouds my brain with a lot of unnecessary information well that's for me maybe some of you guys maybe it's for some of you guys it's youtube maybe for someone uh, else it's um uh, uh, instagram or facebook or something like that but for me it came in as tiktok and i feel and you know what guys like for me um i was an early adopter of tiktok like most of you guys joined TikTok in 20, 2020 when there was that thing that was going on. People found uh, um, their creativity, they found their space, and they, because a lot of us were home and we were not doing anything, we were in our bedrooms. We So people wanted uh, to feel like they belong, so they started doing TikTok then. I was an early adopter. I started TikTok back in, I think, 2018, late 2018, because I even remember some of the videos that I did, and I was still doing my first year. So, um, I never really grew my account from there. I never really had an interest in growing my account. I felt like I should be growing my Instagram. I should be growing my YouTube, because TikTok felt some type of I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying TikTok is bad or TikTok is wada wada. It's it it has p- 
started uh, a lot of people's careers it has um g- given a lot of people voices it has yeah it has started a lot of great things but just for me personally tiktok was not doing okay for me and maybe there's a ton of you guys that maybe you needed to see this video and you just needed that extra push to be like you know what this is it i'm finally gonna be quitting this thing because it's not good for my health it's not good for what i want one two and three but guys all i'm gonna say is i feel like tiktok is a very very toxic space hey very very toxic like maybe i didn't word this video or what i said correctly or in a way that maybe um is very very understandable (laughs) or i don't know if there is someone who feels like i missed anything or someone that feels like they want to add anything please be nice on the comments um comment your thoughts down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and i think we're out of here this is your boy enjoy game signing out